Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hello, it is now Friday midday prayer. I'm going to be praying from the complimentary Psalms in the single volume edition of the Liturgy of the Hours. I'll be using uh, the Murray tone, which is in the Phrygian scale, or the Phrygian mode. It's probably one of my favorites because of how dark it sounds, how mysterious. So it'll be this guy right here. Ba da 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 da. So you basically sing one melody on one line and another one on the other. You usually start to change around the second to last syllable. If you get the syllables wrong, don't worry, just adapt as you sing. Midday prayer is probably the most challenging because we're usually very busy at this time and it's very difficult to quiet our minds and realize that God is still the same eternal loving creator that he is who is in no hurry to go anywhere because he is already where he always is. So I highly encourage you to take as much time as you can during your lunch break or midday to slow down and just let all those daily concerns leave and focus on why we are created in the first place, which is for the adoration of the Supreme God, the Holy Trinity, our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and just jump into the prayer and hopefully you'll enjoy it. But uh, the main thing is to really focus on what we're saying. I'll make a brief commentary as I go. Uh, you dwell in the heavens, have mercy on us. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. My eyes, like the eyes of slaves, on the hands of their lords. Like the eyes of a servant, on the hand of her mistress. So our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. You dwell in the heavens, have mercy on us. Second Psalm, Midday Prayer. Our help is in the name of the Lord. And I'll just probably continue with Psalm Tone 4. The Lord said to Paul, Fear not, I am with you. So whatever you're going through, what happened to my focus? Whatever you're going through in your day, don't worry, God is with you. Yeah, it's all temporary. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon 2. Our help is in the name of the Lord. For the antiphons, I tend to just chant a single uh, or two-note melody. doesn't really matter. Antiphon 3. The Lord surrounds his people with love now and forever. Peace to God's true Israel. Those who put their trust in the Lord 
are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. So since we have three lines, I just sing the second one and the third one together with the second melody. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart, but the crooked and those who do evil, drive them away on his royal peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord surrounds his people with love now and forever. All right, then I go to the daily readings for daytime prayer. We are now in sext, or midday prayer, the sixth hour. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It is true he was crucified out of weakness, but he lives by the power of God. We too are weak in him, but we live with him by God's power in us. Pause for a moment. Let the word soak in. We too are weak in him because we live with him by God's power in us. That's, that's the secret to life right there. Stop trying to control everything. We are, be, we are unable to control our destiny. I am broken crushed to the earth. Speak, Lord, your word of life. I am broken crust to the earth. Speak, Lord, your word of life. Lord Jesus Christ, at noon when darkness covered all the earth, you mounted the wood of the cross as the innocent victim for our redemption. May your light be always with us to guide us to eternal life in that kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And so what I find most uh, sagacious or wise about the church's selections of prayers, the genius behind the prayers is now is the time, it is about noon, Friday, when Jesus would have begun his agony on the cross. And the prayer, it says, you mounted the wood of the cross as the innocent victim for our redemption. That just calls to mind so many images of sacrifice, of animal, excuse me, animal sacrifices and how Jesus became that sacrifice through his flesh so we could live forever and we can offer our lives as sacrifices through him in the Holy Spirit to the Eternal Father. And then there's a plea for may your light always be with us. That word light is a, it's just a textbook worth of, 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 of theology. When we say your light, we could also say may your Holy Spirit, may your wisdom, may your gifts, may your your righteousness be always with us. How many times do we crave to have God's righteousness? How happy we could possibly be. How joyful we could be if we allow God's righteousness to, to just fill us at each moment of every day. And then I love how every prayer always closes with the present simple of you live and reign forever. That no matter what is going on in the world or in the universe, Christ reigns supreme utterly immovable and eternal and aware of every element of what's happening. In his wisdom he will act and at the end of time he shall reign forever and ever. Thank you for joining me.